Welcome, dear friends and believers. This is Senior Pastor Mike Whitlock with the Nazarene Ministry out here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm coming to you live on October 15th in Las Vegas, Nevada. And it's in the evening, approximately 5.10. And everybody, I've had people call me from back east and to talk to me about praying for Israel. Um, and we have, we have been praying. We've dedicated communion to Israel and the American forces that are currently over there. The Father God Almighty through the Holy Spirit asked me to look at Psalm 120. And as I read this, as this is going on, I have been asking today, and we dedicated the, the communion service that we did today, we dedicated it to the fact that the Father in the blood name of Messiah Yeshua, Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, would reveal to us his will in this situation and speak through us his will in this situation where Hamas, Hezbollah, the Gaza Strip, Israel, America, Iran, all of that, that God would reveal his will to us, speak to us. I'm just a man like anyone else. And, but I know that the Holy Spirit asked me to read Psalm 120 and to read it to you and the Holy Spirit said to me, I will speak through you, my will, in this situation. When I read Psalm 120 in advance of actually broadcasting, I was once again very surprised what this psalm is about. And I think you'll find that it relates to what we are currently going through, the kind of crisis we're going through right now. Picking up my holy scriptures, and in case you're wondering, I've I've actually shown it on video before, um, but there are new listeners, and they are wondering the scriptures that I read from. This is from the Institute for Scriptural Research, and I found out about this particular translation from the Hebrew to English um, more than 30 plus years ago. You know, I don't have an exact date to be able to tell you, but it's been quite a while. Might even be as much as 40 years ago. And I love this translation. I also look at the Young's translation and I, of course, have many different translations of the King James, and I also um, like the uh, Barrow translation. There's a lot of great translations out there, but this one is my favorite. I hope you like it as well. From the Hebrew. Tahalim, which is Psalm 120. Let's pray real quickly. Holy Father, we pray in the blood name of Messiah Yeshua, Jesus Christ and Nazarene. We ask for your Holy Spirit presence in this broadcast and that your will be known to us where the Gaza Strip, the Palestinian people, Iran, Hamas, Hezbollah, all of that is concerned. We ask your will to be revealed to us. Your Holy Son said that so many mysteries would be revealed to us because we became believers in him and he leading us as our shepherd. He sits at the right hand of your throne, Father. I ask you to Reveal your wisdom, understanding, divine supernatural knowledge, design of this 
situation, the purpose of this situation, your divine will in this situation, and lead us through what people are calling this crisis. And it is, Father, it is a crisis. People are dying. I don't, I don't, I, I, I like many people out there are horrified by some of the terrible terrorist acts that have been going on. But this has been going on for a long time. And I understand that the people in Israel for years have been dealing with rockets being shot in and bombs being exploded and human bombs, uh, people who wear vests and have a good friend of mine, a very good friend of mine was in Israel many years ago and was there and witnessed a young person walking into a restaurant and blowing themselves up. This has been going on for so long. Father, I pray that you have resolved in your will. Bring this to an end. This I pray in the blood name of Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, Nazarene. Turn to your scriptures and or your Bibles uh, from the Greek, the Biblios, the book. Turn your Bibles to Psalm 120. In Hebrew, is Tahalim. In my distress, I cried to Yahuwah. Now, the Young's translation says Jehovah. Um, the Barrel translation says Jehovah. Most of the other translations that I looked at today, King James, several versions of King James, and of course there's Amplified Bible and so on, they say the Lord. Some translations say God. Uh, I even looked at one translation uh, that said Adonai, which means Lord, and I looked at uh, uh, one of the uh, Jewish uh, publications of the scriptures, and they either refer to uh, the Father God Almighty as Hashem or Adonai. In my distress, I cried to Yahovah, and he answered me, Yahovah, deliver my being from false lips, from the treacherous tongue. Now, this is so important. The Father God Almighty is all about pure, perfect truth. Imagine the most pure, refined truth. And I know that's very hard for us here because we are faced with so much untruth, fabrications, scams, cons, lies, fake news, fake media, fake uh, stuff being put on all kinds of the internet sites and so on. It's very hard at times to just try to understand what is actually true and factual. It's very tough. So I love the way this opens up and basically it's saying, I renounce all these lies, I renounce all these false facts, I renounce all of this and want to know your will and your truth. Father, God Almighty, where the people call, oh, I did read one translation where it actually translated uh, the name of God as Yahweh, which I was very surprised to find. Long story short, when we cry out to, from the Hebrew, the name of God, Yahovah, and the reason I like that and favor that translation so well is because when you look in the Psalms, even in the King James translations, there are many of the Psalms that David uh, put together, and he calls the Father God Y-A-H, Yah, even in the King James. So I like the name, the four-letter tetragrammaton, Yahweh. Now, what would one give to you, or what would one do to you 
O treacherous tongue, sharp arrows of a mighty man with coals of the broom wood, woe to me, for I have sojourned in Meshech. I have dwelt among the tents of Hedar. My being has dwelt too long with him who hates peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for fighting. And that ends Psalm 120. Can you see how it, the Holy Spirit leads me to Psalm 120? And as God is my witness, I, w I, I wake up, I, do, I say my morning prayers. I ask to be washed in the blood of the Messiah. Because you never know when the Messiah or the angels are going to come for you. So in the morning, I ask to be washed in the blood. In the afternoon, I ask to be washed in the blood. Before I go to sleep at night, I be I ask to be washed in the blood. That way, if 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 uh, the Father God sends His holy angels for me in the middle of the night while I'm sleeping and decides to cause my body to go to sleep and not wake up, and my now I'm washed in the blood, and there's only one place I'm going to be with my Messiah at the right hand of the Father in the throne room. I'm here. And so I want to be prepared. So the truth is, God told me very clearly, I asked him, what am I going to broadcast today? And he said, Psalm 120. And I want to speak through you about this situation in Israel. And he's telling me right now, yes, my son. Speak through me, Holy Spirit. This situation in Israel, this hatred of a people that are the descendants of Abraham from the Hebrew Abraham, this spirit of hatred against Palestinians, black folk, American Indians, the people from India. This hatred of the Chinese people that was going on in Canada and elsewhere and other places in the world during the COVID thing. This has to stop. the Northern Koreans hating the Southern Koreans, this hatred, no matter what race you are, it's got to stop. We're all human beings, people on this planet. We have got to learn to love each other and stop the hatred. We share one planet. We are a race of human beings, no matter what our color is, no matter what our faith is, no matter what part of the world we happen to live in. We are all people of this earth, this planet. And we have got to stop this hatred. And we've got to learn to love and help each other. And that's all I have to say. You need prayer or an understanding of scriptures, please call 702-588-9237. Until we meet again, happy trails to you. This is Prophet Michael's Truth from Las Vegas, Nevada. God bless you all. Stay safe. Stay protected. Be vigilant. Watch out for the haters who may try to harm you, stab you or shoot you or do some other insane, idiotic, ridiculous thing. Be careful out there. 
We love you all. We're here for you. Until we meet again, happy trails to you. Amen.